That's right, imagine it. Christmas morning, you get an entire box filled with all of your favorite things. This is my annual junk box haul. I'm Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. Welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, how's it going? It's Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that my mother does a gift for um, me and my sister every year called a junk box. And a junk box is a tradition that was carried over that my grandmother actually started. Um, a lot of people refer to them kind of as a shoe box uh, gift. Um, we took it up a notch and put it in a really, really, really big box. And so uh, every year we get a junk box filled with different things and uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing for you and show you what my mom got so um, my mom went on a cruise and um, she went in December Otis is coming to say hi hi Otis hi baby come here say hi hi say hi to everybody hi all right so my mom went on a cruise in December and um, she bought brought back some shirts so I got some Grand Turk um, she went to Turks and Caicos, she went to Puerto Rico, and she went to the Dominican Republic. So she brought me some shirts back from there, which is always amazing. Um, this, by the way, is a tradition, I think I said, that my grandmother started doing for us. And then when my grandmother passed away, my mom kept the tradition open. So um, I want to start using these kind of reusable bags, and hello, kitty cats, um, for when I do my shopping hauls and things. So I appreciate that for sure. This was amazing. You guys probably saw this in the uh, teaser. And um, it's a Christmas tree. It is a unicorn Christmas tree. And uh, there's Otis here to check out everything in the um, junk box. But um, how cute is that? Super, super cute. Definitely could use this next year. And it does have lights on it, by the way. It has white lights. So um, that was a fun surprise in the junk box. Not typically... Um, well, I mean, the junk box is kind of whatever. Uh, the concept of the junk box is you just kind of get a box, put the person's name on it, and then throughout the year, just as you find stuff, you find something they might like, throw it in the junk box. Literally, anything goes. Um, I know when I had my first apartment, we had a junk box that was like um, uh, you know, paper towels and detergent and shampoo and all kinds of things like that. Um, great jar for spare change. Love this, actually. Um, not sure where she got this. Oh, Walmart. And, um, I mean, that's going to be super fun just for putting all my spare change in. So, glad for that. And, you know, there's no rules, again, with the junk box. Um, hot chocolate. Love having hot chocolate. Although, right now, the weather is really, really weird here in Atlanta. And it's like almost 70 degrees. Got a 2023 calendar planner. Always something good to have. Uh, my mom knows that I love this kind of tube ribbon that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. So she always grabs some of these things and puts them out. So that's cool. Otis is kind of zooming in and out here. Anything goes. Some great pasta. Um, this is really good looking pasta. It looks really, really big. So um, kind of cool. Kind of happy about that. Um, no, um, no tag on it, so don't know where it came from. And then this is another bag of pasta. I have lots and lots of pasta right now at home. Um, uh, my grandmother, like I said, started this kind of tradition. Otis is all about this, you guys. And um, butterflies are very significant to uh, my, just us remembering my grandmother. And I have a gravel pathway it goes from my front porch kind of around the house and uh, these are really cool these are very special to me um there's some butterfly uh like stepping stones they're little ones so you can't you can't really step on them but um they're solar powered and um they're gonna be great to kind of sprinkle along that pathway so that was really cool she got my sister some of these too and uh we both we both appreciated it. Um, these are fantastic. These are re reusable sandwich bags and they're uh, very large. And what's cool about these too is that they're also leak proof. And if you saw my um, haul that I did from uh, I believe it was five below before the holidays, um, I bought some of these that are kind of travel bags 
and uh, they worked fantastic. So if you don't want to use these as sandwich bags, it's a pretty generous sandwich. Um, you can use these for travel bags too, and they're actually fantastic for that. Um, this is a really cool, kind of a better sponge set. It's a, looks like a three pack of different sponges. Yep, yeah, it's a three pack. And, um, you know, it's coming kind of with some of the as seen on TV brands. So again, super, super fun. Again, this is anything goes. Anything that you think that that person would like, you throw it in this box. And um, here's some fun. I love these Frontier soups. And uh, these are so easy. You can add some beans and different things to it if you want to. Easy, easy way to make soups. And uh, I believe the soups and the pastas probably came from a store that's in Myrtle Beach. I don't know if it's everywhere, but it's called Hamrick's. And um, it's there. Um, Mom went crazy and spoiling me with the paint brushes, which is great. She put two sets in there. And obviously I have a lot of paint brushes and stuff behind me too, so that's great. And then um, there are some smaller paint brushes in here too. Um, some more tube ribbon. Here's another package of paint brushes. Super cute. Um, she got me these really cute, it's a three pack of uh, unicorn canvases. So those will be fun to do some DIYs. Um, I'm not sure if everybody knows this or not, the, the kind of unicorn significance, but the neighborhood that I live in, um, the it, unicorn is kind of a mascot. So that's kind of why, and we'll, I'll do different things with the unicorns for, you know, for gifts and things. Hi buddy, what are you doing? He's like smelling everything. There's his tail. Hi. People would love to see your face. Some uh, Lay's potato chips. Always got to have those. This is a great peel off charcoal mask. Um, this is at Dollar Tree and this is a really, really good one. Um, these, I love these. I put these in people's stockings and gift baskets every year from Dollar Tree, the chocolate spoons and then the peppermint spoons. Yes, my mom probably shops at Dollar Tree. Probably not as much as I do but uh, definitely Dollar Tree shopper. I love these Ferro, 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 Rocher. I don't know how you say it. And uh, <clears throat> I keep these in the uh, freezer actually. And this kind of container is perfect to keep them in the freezer in. So that is uh, fun. Uh, some great chip clips. Of course, there's one with a unicorn in there. Otis, what are you doing, buddy? Um, some roasted red peppers. Again, anything goes in the junk box. Anything goes. Some Hershey's Kisses. Great toothpick holder. Um, some Nutella. It's kind of like a, um, kind of like a stocking, I guess. Um, we don't, we don't do stockings. So this is kind of the, the stocking. Um, there's some great ornaments in there that I can do some fun DIYs with. Some more chocolate. These razors are actually really good. And I do like these when I travel. These are from Dollar Tree. And uh, my mom knows that. This I was super excited about when I unpackaged this on uh, Christmas Eve morning. Um, this is called Salad Toppers. And it's individual packets of like cranberries and pistachios and almonds. Um, so you can put them on top of your salads. Like how fun is that? Super easy. It's a one serving kind of a thing. Really easy to manage it. I think that's fantastic. Um, Kleenex. Some memo pads. Always get one of these for Christmas and love them and use them a lot. Um, I'm almost kind of at the bottom here. Um, chip clips, some little marshmallow candy things. Um, you're going to love this. Um, some more um, chip clips with the little bears on them. I think they're cute. Got a Oral-B toothbrush. Um, that's fantastic, battery operated. Um, another great thing actually to travel with is pink, which I thought was funny. My um, sister got a blue one, I think, and we just kind of went with it. So, you know, why not? Um, I will use this though for sure when I'm traveling. And then, hey, Otis, what are you doing, buddy? He's over there creeping and being bad. Um, and a Happy Holidays Dollar Tree sign. Actually, it's not from Dollar Tree. It's got a $2 sticker on it. So it might be from uh, like Happy Dollar, Dollar General. And I'm gonna put this box up that way. That way Otis can go play and explore in it. And then 
lots of socks. There's lots of socks. Some uh, unicorn socks. Some polka dot socks. And yes, most of these socks I already have. Um, these are just amazing. <laughs> Look at the cats. <laughs> and then these on the other side, these are fun to wear to the gym, like with my sneakers and stuff. Some great little polka dot socks. Some golf socks that I don't think I've seen at Dollar Tree. I don't think I have these. And then uh, just some great blue, gray kind of plaid. The barbecue socks, how cute are those? And then this kind of geometric pattern. But um, yeah, that is the junk box. This again is a cool tradition. It's a great way to save some money too because you know you can get a box this big, you could do a shoe box, you could do anything like this and um, just put it aside, put whomever's name on it that the box is gonna be gifted to. And every time you're out and about or every time you're doing something, just pick up a little something for them, throw it in the box. The box can, can be as big as you want or as small as you want. And it's a fun family tradition. It works amazingly for little kids. My sister has some nieces and nephews from her husband's side of the family. And um, I wanna say they're like five or six years old. They're, they're definitely young. They may even be older than that now. And uh, they want a junk box every year because my sister did a junk box for them initially. And uh, they think it's the greatest thing in the world because it's just this treasure chest filled with all kinds of goodies. And um, this is what the adult version looks like. So, all right, guys, that's the junk box. If you're a subscriber of mine, thank you so much for letting me share this moment with you. Um, this is always super fun. Um, a lot of you guys always comment about wanting to see the junk box. So that's why I did the junk box haul. All right, guys, take care. And uh, I'm working on some DIY projects and some other um, hauls and some organizational stuff that's going to be coming out very, very soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.